Brace family, let's stop our racing for a second to show you guys this. This has been all over social media the last 24 hours. This is a cast iron block for the 2JZ Super Platform. And we have Mike here with us from Race Winning Brands to talk to us about this dart block. So yep, so uh, we've seen the need for a bridge, basically a product bridge between a uh, reworked over OEM block to a billet. Um, you know, the cost to go to a full billet doesn't really fit a lot of people's budgets that are in the 1500 to 1800 horsepower range. Um, and this being a very popular platform with support compact, it just kind of made sense to investigate. Um, so we got a lot of OEM samples in, benchmarked them, seen failures, and then kind of work, started working from there from clean slate. Um, we revised the deck area and the cylinder area, uh, increased the deck thickness to three quarters of an inch, um, removed the cross drill holes for the coolant, made it a true uh, Siamese pour, um, increased the crankcase thickness. An average o uh, OEM blocks are around 090s thick. Ours is 250,000 thick in the universal universally through the whole crankcase. Um, revised oiling, we re relocated the oil passages uh, to allow for clearance and proper thickness for 94 millimeter stroke of the aluminum rod. Um, and then I'll get handle the this around. Yep, but now a factory oil pump, it's no, factory no issue. Pump, all factory oil pumps and accessories bolt right up. Water pump, you know, oil pump. Everything, all that is Sweet. factory spec. That way it fits. Street car, race car, yep. you know, it's universal across all the boards. Mike, I'm out here, I was telling you a minute ago, I'm out here squeezing my 2JZ, no cement in the block, NA block, so it's very limit. Right. Yeah. So I'm someone pushing like it far. Would, someone like this would take the, that worry out every pass you make, like, yeah. is this the last pass? Yeah. You know, this, like I said, this should be a good bridge between a worked out, fully maxed out OEM block and then not have to go all the way up to a building. One of the other features that we have is uh, standard would be a screw and free plug and silver press. A high pressure, so, uh, high boost applications. If you lift the head, you don't have to worry about pushing out, uh, pushing out a uh, free plug. And then on the bottom end, we re-engineered the main structure to uh, fit the four bolt cap. I noticed that. Yeah. Yep. So. The center ones are 12 millimeter, the outers are 10. Yep. Um, and this just gives you that much more clamping force. Right. We've also increased the thickness and the throughput of the bulkhead for the main saddle. Mm -hmm. uh, help cracking and, and pulling apart and twisting in that area. The box uh, machine has the option to be machined for a 94 millimeter stroke with a little more mod. All right, so. The next question everyone wants to know is how soon will this be available and do you guys have price points in mind? Yeah, so right now um, we're at the point where we're going to start developing the tooling to start casting. That usually takes about eight to nine months um, and then we're about a month before machine. So the ideal, the target right now is for this time next year Got it. to be able to start shipping out blocks. Got it. Um, target retail right now we're looking at about 4200 Okay. Um, depending on material cost. And that's with the caps, the... Yep, so the way you see it here is yep. how our standard part will be finished. Got uh, it. Fillet caps, main studs, finished line hone. Uh, the only thing, once a, you get receive the block, the only machining you have to do is finish deck machining and finish hone. Got the it. size you want. And the bores, uh, at 88 millimeter max bore, you still have 290 wall thickness on this sleeve. Nice. Well, my brother, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. No problem, thank you. Thank you for doing this for 2JZ Community.